Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. that we can have together, Father God, with, with amen, with what you, you, just your way. Father God, we give you glory. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do, even today, Lord. Father God, in the words that we speak, Lord, the words that we speak, Lord, we pray, Lord, that they're anointed. It'll be a blessing to those that hear in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We give you all the glory. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you the glory. We Thank give you the God. praise for this one more day that we, Father God, can be and we can glorify you. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, praise God. Amen. Here at Freedom in Christ Ministries. Hallelujah. I'm just stepping in. Amen. For Amen. Stepping in for minister. Uh, Randy and also for Pastor Nikki and Amen, Pastor Danny yeah. in his Amen in his chest first. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God is so good. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're just we're just wanting to bring words of encouragement today. Hallelujah to you. And I pray that this will be a blessing to you. Amen. On today, this will be a blessing to you. But I hear, Blessed be the name yes. of the Lord. Yeah. He is worthy to be praised and adored. Yeah, yeah. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. Yeah, Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
starting at the 35th verse and we're going to read on down to the 41st verse out of the King James Version and it says this and the same day when the evening has come was come he said unto them let us pass over unto the other side and when they has when he had sent them away sent away the multitude they took him even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. So there wasn't just one, but there was other little ships. Mm -hmm. And there arose a great storm of wind, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the waves beat into the ship yeah. so that it was now full. Basically now I'm telling you that all the water began to start filling up in all of these, all of these boats that was there. The waves, it was full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. Jesus was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Can't you tell that all these things are happening to us? Now imagine you're in the midst of all that storm and the thing. He said, he said, Don't you know that, don't you know that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind. Yes. And said unto the sea, Peace, be still. Yes. <laughs> and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful? Mm -hmm. How is it that ye have no faith? Mm -hmm. And they exceed, they feared exceedingly. And one said to another, What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea obey Come on. him. Yes. Yes. Oh, what kind of person is this that will that even the sea and the wind uh, obey him? Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind, and I'm, I'm going to move over real quick just to Isaiah to go right along with what we're talking about here today. Amen. Isaiah, the 26th chapter. And all these I'm sure that you've heard before, but I just want to, we just feel to speak this to you a little bit, to all of you today mm -hmm. that's in the midst of a chaos situation. Come on. That's in the midst of a situation or circumstance. Hallelujah. And you're there and you don't know what to do in the midst of all this. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 26, and it says this in verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, yes. whose mind is stayed on thee. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he trusteth in thee. Yes. Verse 4. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. I will keep you in perfect peace, oh, yes. whose mind is stayed on him. Oh, whose mind, whose, whose mind, I, I like to say it this way, he'll keep you in perfect peace whose mind is fixed on him. Yes. Uh -huh. If your mind is fixed on him because you trust him, you will have peace that passes, and as in Philippians 4, you'll have peace that will pass all, all understanding. understanding. Yeah, yeah. When folks will look at you and wonder, how come you're so peaceful in the midst of all of this situation? Yes. Come on, in the midst of this problem, in the midst of all of these things that's going on, how can you have peace? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> That was the way it was in Matthew, the fourth chapter. In Matthew, the fourth chapter, all of the winds begin to start rolling, and they just begin to start just coming up. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, turbulence yeah. begin to start just doing its thing. But in the midst of all of that, Jesus was doing what? He was fast asleep. Sleep. <laughs> all the disciples was having problems. All the disciples were sitting there wondering, you know, and that, that, that's kind of a kind of a normal thing. Uh, I've been in airplanes before when turbulence came. <laughs> when turbulence came and things begin to start going up, you, of course, you're going to get bothered. You're going to kind of get upset, especially 10,000 feet up. But then again, if you can't swim that well in a boat, that will still do the same thing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, what I'm talking about. The yes. winds start coming up, and the Bible said the, that the water began to feel the water began to fill the ships. Yeah. It began, he said, the, there arose a great storm of wind. The winds beat into the ship so that it was now full. Some of us might be going through areas right now that winds are there, but I want to let you know, I want to speak peace to you. I'm doing something that I generally don't always do, and that's just stay right behind this pulpit. But <laughs> I really feel like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, oh, so I, I, I want to just speak it to to the lives of you that are listening right now. There's chaos sometimes. You have some chaos that's going on right now. We're living in a time when chaos is everywhere. Amen. Come on, all kinds of things that's going on. But listen, have your mind. I love what he said. You'll keep in perfect peace. Where? Whose mind is stayed. I'll keep you all. Oh, let me go back. Perfect peace. Yeah. I'll keep you in perfected peace. I'll keep you in peace. Whose mind is stayed on 
fixed. In other words, I got a fixed up mind. I'm trusting in the Lord. I'm depending on him. I'm knowing that he's going to be there. I know that he's going to open the doors for me. I know that he's going to stand right with me. Oh, my God. He's standing right with you, right where you are right now. He's right with you. Yeah. You don't have to worry about whatever's going on. My God. Because he will give you, hallelujah, that peace that passes all understanding. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you mean the peace? The peace yeah. that passes all understanding. How can you be at rest when there's so much that's going on? When you trust in him, well, it comes along with trust. It comes along with being able to say, trust in the Lord, what is that? With all thine heart. Mm -hmm. And do not, do not what? Lean, Lean to your what? Own, own understanding. Right. That's right. But in all thy ways acknowledge, acknowledge him. him. Yeah. Yes. And what will he do? He'll protect you. He'll lead you. He'll direct thy path. Oh, that's good word right there. That's yeah. good word right there. That's yeah, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ah, he'll lead you. He'll guide you. He'll protect you. He'll keep you in perfect peace. Peace. Oh, my Lord. I used to sing a song a long time ago. Peace, peace. Wonderful peace. Coming down from the Father above. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Sweep over my spirit. Mm, forever I pray in fathomless because along with that peace is going to you're going to feel the love you're going to feel his love you're going to feel that amen now there's a part that I want to bring out here for those that are listening and all those that are here those that are listening there's something one, one uh, evangelist said something that was that I, I wish that I could have been the first one to say this but he said when Jesus got up he looked up he looked at all of the disciples that were having a problem. Because all of them were doing it. And like I said, it was normal. You know, their first thing, Master, care thou not that we perish? You know, another thing that went through my mind was they went to him because they know that he can do something. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. They went to him because they know that he can do something. It isn't that they, at the end they go, what kind of man is this? You know, what kind of man is this that even the sea and the oceans, they, that he obeyed? But in spite of all that, they still went to him because they found out he's asleep. Here you are. You're asleep. The rest of us are having a problem. The rest of us are getting ready. Don't you see there's water all over the place here? And you're asleep on a pillow? But when he got up, he first, when they said, he said, peace be still. According to the word, I like what the word says. The word here says, uh... And when he arose, he rebuked the wind. Rebuked the wind first. <laughs> and then he said to the sea, peace be still. Mm -hmm. But I love the way that he, this, this event just broke it down, was he went like this. He turned around, he stood up, and he looked at all the wind, and he told him, he said, he rebuked the wind, pushed that, the wind away, told the wind to stop. Come on. Then he looked at the disciples, and he said, peace. And then to the storm, be still. Be still. Yeah. <laughs> Come, on. Uh, Come on. I like that. I like uh, that. I like yeah. that. I like yeah. That. He got up and he pushed the winds away. Had the wind go. Leave. Yeah. I rebuke you. Come on, somebody. Sometimes even in our own life, we need to stand up and go, get back. Get away. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And then speak to yourself and say, peace. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, peace. Yeah, yeah. Ah, and to every troubled area, be still. Yeah. Be still. Yeah. But don't have your mind focused on the storm. Right. That's the thing that he's trying to take. Don't get your mind focused on the storm. Because the storm can bring you down. Come on. And especially if you pay, pay real attention to it, if you pay attention to the circumstances. You pay attention to all of that that's going on. I don't understand why. I just don't understand. It's not for us to really understand. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. It's not really for us to understand. But in the midst of that, we can say, Lord, you said in your word that I'll have perfect peace as long as my mind is stayed on right, it. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I'm focused. Yeah. I'm focused. I've got 
my focus on you. Yeah. I know I say this all the time, but I, I go back to I go back to the, the airplane. It's going up in the air, and as long as it's going in the air, it's still going. It might hit turbulence, it might hit some things that's going on, but it's got a goal. It's mine. It's its purpose, its plan is to hit ten thousand feet. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to hit it no matter what, because I know this plane is designed and ready to get there and it'll make it. It's got the gas. It's got the fuel. Come on. It's got everything. It's got the the, the, the structure yeah. to be able to make it to ten thousand feet. Yeah. It's going to go there. That's what the team. That's what the tower told me. Get up there to ten thousand feet. It'll make it. It'll make it in spite of everything else. It's focused. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I hope everybody catching what hmm. I'm saying. It's focused. Yeah. Already focused yeah. to make it to that level. There's a focus that God has planned for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't lose sight of that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't lose sight of that. God has a plan and God has a purpose. Yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he, does. <laughs> he has a plan and he has a purpose. And you just keep your mind stayed on him. As long as you got your mind stayed on him, you'll be in peace. Amen. Amen. Mm. I like that. Come on. As long as you got your mind stayed on him. Oh, what is the last, the latter part of that, the latter part of that, uh, that chapter, that verse? It says this because he trusted in Him. Mm -hmm. In other words, I know that if I trust You, Lord, that everything is going to work out all right. Why? Because I trust You. Because I depend on you. Yes. Because I lean on you. Yes. Because I know that you, oh, you won't do something that will harm me. You won't do something, oh my God, and if it's something that I know that it's a test that I'm going through. I know that it's a, a trial that I might be going through right now. But that's okay. Lord, you're going to grab me. You're going to hold on to me. You're going to make a way for me. Hallelujah, Lord, because, because I belong to you. I belong to you. And he will not let you fail. He will not. Ah, oh, that's that peace that passes all understanding. When everything else around you, ah, oh, my God. This isn't the only time that basically there was a time where they had where Jesus was in a, in a situation. Even at the time that he was being baptized, after he got baptized, where did he go? He left right straight from there, right into the wilderness to be tempted. By the devil. It tells you right there. It tells you right in the word. That's what he did. He went to go be tempted by the devil in an uncontrolled area. Somebody said, what is a wilderness? A wilderness is an uncontrolled area. It's a barren area. It's not controlled. There's no, there's nothing that's that's manicured and fixed up. Just right. No, he went there. And he was there for a long time. Ah! Oh, but he came out victorious. Yeah, yeah. He had peace in the midst of that. Even while he was there, the enemy came and brought word to him and could have persuaded him in all kinds of ways. Ah, oh, but even in the midst of all that, he came out victorious. How? Because he kept telling the devil, look, no, it's written. <laughs> it is written. Do you know what is written? It is written. He come against him with one thing. It is written. See these stones? Yeah, I know you're hungry. That's all right, but it is written. <laughs> Let me take you up here and give you something that I really don't have. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm going to give you something that I really don't have, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is written. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to Hallelujah. God. Yes, Hallelujah. yes. He'll keep you. Hallelujah. The Lord will keep you in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. In perfect peace. Oh, you that might be going through some stuff right now, that might be in an area. I want to encourage you. I just want to, I want to encourage you. These are scriptures that are, that are automatic. You can look at them. Philippians four seven. I will keep you in prayer. No, um, Philippians four seven. The peace that passes all understanding. Then you've got, then you've got Isaiah twenty six three. I will keep you in perfect peace, whose mind, whose heart, whose mind is stayed on Him because we trust in the Lord. See, one of the great things that you need to realize is I need to realize that I have got to know where my trust is. Mm -hmm. Where's my trust? Mm -hmm. 
Where's my, who, who is it that I really depend on? Ah, things sometimes might not look great. Hey, come on. Ah, but who do you trust? Who is it that you're really depending on? Are you depending on him? Knowing that he's going to make a way? Knowing that he's got all things clear? Come on, somebody. It's, it's, it's his. It's, it's what he's doing anyway. And when we step in, that's when the problem comes. Yes. When we step in, that's when the problem comes. That's when, that's when perfect peace does not become perfect peace. You start becoming the way that your surroundings is. Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You become your surroundings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. Hope everybody catches that. You become your surroundings. Don't become your surroundings. But allow him to blossom out of you. Trust him. Trust him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Father, I give you glory today, Lord. I thank you for your presence today. I thank you for what you've already done. Father God, Lord, that one that is listening in, Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that they're in, caught up in an area, Lord, Lord, there's probably, they're right in an area of caught up of, of chaos and of, of, Lord, everything that's going on. They're, they're not knowing which way to turn. What am I going to do? Where am I going? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Father God, Lord, so many times you have stepped in You've stepped in and you've made a way. So, Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would be right with them right now. That one, Lord, that is listening, that just happened to tune in, Father God, that just happened to just turn it on and get on. Oh, my God, what is, what is this guy saying to me? He's telling you, Lord, Lord, you speak to their heart in the name of Jesus. Father God, give them, Lord, that perfect peace that we can only find in you. We can only find it in you. So we give you glory right now, Lord, for, Lord, just doing that, opening that up for them in the name of Jesus. Surround them. Put your arms around them. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name. Father God, for even freedom, freedom in Christ ministries, Lord, surround them. Yes. Ah, in Jesus' name. Yes. We give you glory, Father God, for comfort. Lord, in the hope that we have with you, knowing, Lord, that in the midst of everything, you've got it all under control. And we give you all the glory and we give you the praise. Let it be done yes. in Jesus' name. Let it be done. So be it. <laughs> Amen. In Jesus' name. And we give you all the glory and we give you the praise. Praise in Jesus' name. You that are listening right now, you that are listening right now, if you don't know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus and you have not, you have not really got a contact. Maybe you knew him, but then you gone away from him. This is the time to come back. This is the time to come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. He never left you. You left him. And all he's doing is he's standing with open arms. He's saying, come on back. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come on. I want to surround you with my peace. That's what he's saying. I want to surround you with my love. I want to give you joy. Uh, I want to give you joy. I want that peace that will surpass everyone's understanding. Let it be done today. Let it be done today. All you need to do is just say, Lord, come into my life. Come into my life. Forgive me of all my sins. Ah, oh, but you don't know, Pastor, how you don't know the extent of my sin. Listen, he knows, and he still wants you. Isn't that something? Just accept it. Accept it. Just say, hey, Lord, come into my life. Change me. Clean me up. Make me new. I'm tired. And I accept you into my life. You did that. You came and died for me. And I thank you for that. You shed your blood for me. And I thank you for that. Oh, and I accept it in Jesus' name. I speak healing. I speak healing for those that are sick. Thank you, Lord. Thank in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would touch their body. Right where they're at right now and receive healing. 
Receive that healing. He took stripes. He shed his blood long time ago for you. So I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Let it be done, Father God. Lord, we speak, Lord, your, your healing touch. Go, Father God, into that room where they're at right now. Straighten up that pain in the name of Jesus. Ease that stress. Oh, God, do it right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you all the glory and we give you the praise, Lord, for that one that is that's praying even for their for their loved one right now. Father God, I pray, Lord, that you would get put someone in their pathway. Ah, in their pathway, Lord, that they will be able to hear and that they'll be brought back to you. And then, Lord, let them pick up the phone and call. <laughs> yeah. Pick up the phone and call. Yeah. Now, I just accepted him. Hallelujah. Ah, there's a change in my yeah. life. Let it be done in the name of Jesus. And we give you all the glory and we give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God is good. I feel good. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Pastor Nikki is coming right now. Amen. She's going to. Amen. Minister, to talk to you in a little bit. <laughs> Bless you. for um, all your thoughts, prayers as we navigate through this time. So yes, thank you. Yes. God bless you. Um, at this time, I just want to say if you would like to uh, sow a seed into our ministry, if you want to get your um, tithes and offerings in, you can now log on to our website, uh, www.freedominchristministries.org. Um, our cash app is uh, dollar sign 2019 URP, or you are able to contact me directly, and I will be able to take those seed gifts, tithes, and offerings over the phone directly. So I just love you, and I appreciate you, and Pastor Felix, Pastor Ruth, I thank you so much for, for filling in as we go through this transition with our ministry. Um, you know, this has been a rough couple of weeks, so we're, we're transitioning through a, a process. It's a process of healing, yes. a process with yes. the ministry. So I just thank you guys for, for staying with us, for believing in Christ, for trusting Christ, and the, the timely message that Pastor Felix delivered today. Keep your focus yes. on God. Keep your focus, and he will keep you in perfect peace. Yes. And that's exactly where I am right now. I'm trying to keep my focus. Not trying. I am yes. keeping my focus on Christ yes. so he can reveal his beautiful plan yes. to me. And I make sure that I keep in step with that plan. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So once again, if you would like to sow a seed into our ministry um, for your tithes and your offerings, you can log on to www.freedominchristministries.org Our cash app is dollar sign 2019 URP or you are able to contact me directly and I will be able to take those seed gifts um, tithes and offerings directly over the phone. So once again, God bless you and thank you. Amen. Amen. Pass it for the benediction. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, amen. Yes, yes, indeed. Praise God. So to that, this is the time that's needed the most. This is one of the times that's needed the most to keep this ministry and keep this going strong. Amen. Do this, amen. amen. And ever keep the family up before the Lord. Amen. We'll keep all of you up before the Lord. Amen. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the Father. Be all glory and be all honor. Be all praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah. God bless you. 
Amen. 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 Amen.